power handed over to government meant to govern but instead steadily taxing the poor to fatten the pockets and bellies of devils of finance. These governors hold control with an outdated mockery of what they call democracy, relying on lies and misinformation, the magic of media. Killing community with tales of terror, suspicion, cutting off funding, reinforcing belief that the only relief comes from intoxication, taxable medication for the more compliant and for those of a more rebellious nature, illegal drugs to legitimise, locking away any danger. So much time and effort and money too on a war on drugs that can never be won while the temptation of taboo and the myth of addiction labour on strong, dividing us into groups of addicted and non. A more balanced view can see sometimes a tendency to excess and regress to a state of dependence can easily be labelled addictivity which takes away responsibility and gives the excuse to remain in misery, victims of this disease. In reality, these people are victims of society and what they believe, scapegoats on fringes, outcasts, living their role as a mechanism to cope with their excessive urges and the pain that comes from repetitive purges. Often the result of psychological pain that will not go away, but as mental illness is also taboo, they're already forced to the fringe, nothing better to do. Better take what you've got before you get caught. Block out those shameful, unruly thoughts. Other users, including alcohol drinkers, prescription pill poppers, tobacco smokers, aren't much different from them sometimes scorning or pitying those caught in cycles of pain but unwilling to look at why they themselves use again and again. Denying our drug use is just not the way. Denying our drug use is just not the way. Playing out different roles in this charade of social control while the sensible, sensitive sense and obscene delusion so much to change to work through this confusion questions of ethics, morality, freedom, legality. Learn from experience, allow for experiments, resist repressive thinking, apply some intelligence. This sick stick beating system incarcerates non-whites and poor, reinforcing divide and disrespect for the law, whilst the carrot of freedom would surely ensure the rewards of self-nurture and more mature choices outweigh any fears of locked away years, locked away voices, using in jail day after day. Criminalising some users is just not the way. Criminalising some users is just not the way. Time better spent finding out why we do what we do, making consciousness, community, more appealing, places to view. And when occasion calls for social lubricant or mystic journey with full intent, legally, knowingly, opting to transcend common sense. I'm not dismissing the risks that arise from pursuing such highs. Someone whose experiments nearly caused me to die and hurt my family in numerous ways, but the law didn't stop that. And if it were changed, surely we'd find a more honest debate. Demonizing drug use is just not the way. Demonizing drug use is just not the way. Encouraging thought and expression and finding realistic impressions of what makes us want to use is more likely to give children a healthier view. We can start something new, looking at what we can do to decrease drug abuse, decreasing dangerous repetitive use, finding creative outlets for pain, building self-esteem, making communities more active teams, looking at what it all means for people without God to still have a church that isn't a pub or nightclub that expects you to take a drink or a drug. Some simple suggestions for discussion by those they affect, not left for political lip service rejects. Community nation with care and compassion and a voice if we live in a less repressive fashion and start taking action to live a new day. Demonising drug use is just the old way of old policies of parliamentary thugs. 
We can change with the knowledge that comes from how we know drugs.